Hi friends, welcome to Origin Fertility and IVF. I am Dr. Rashmi Sharma. In this video, I am, to, I am going to talk about septum uterus. So many women come to us in a state of panic with septum uterus. So today I will discuss in detail what is septum uterus, how it happens, what is the treatment that you can do, how can you diagnose and what are the complications that can have that you can have with septum uterus. <laughs> Coming to the first question that what is septum uterus as in our last video I explained how a normal uterus develops so when a woman or when a, a small child is developing inside the mother's womb two tubes which are called Mullerian ducts they start forming in the abdomen those ducts come and join in the middle and this joint tube joint both the tubes they form a normal uterus on both sides they form fallopian tube and in the middle they form a uterus so if in a child when that uh, girl child is developing inside a mother's womb because of whatever reason those ducts have come they have met they have made one uterus but in between ball between the two ducts fails to disappear then it can lead to this condition called septum uterus so in this condition uterus seems to be one from above as this but there is a wall in between that wall has failed to disappear when the uterus is forming so what happens is when we look from outside it looks like one uterus but there is a wall in between and there are two compartments in the uterus that is what is septum uterus how it develops nobody knows we don't know the cause that why some women have uh, this uh, problem there are some genetic factors there are some advanced research uh, which have blamed some uh, mutations in the genes called hoxa 10 and hoxa 11 uh, in the development of this uh, condition but frankly speaking we really don't know the cause so what are the symptoms of septum uterus frankly speaking there are no symptoms there is uh, no heavy bleeding or less bleeding or pain in periods uh, it is usually diagnosed when a patient has already developed some complications. What are the complications because of septum uterus? The complications could be either they may be infertility because so many times if, a, uh, if an embryo implants on that wall it fails to survive and that's why it leads to infertility. Many of the times there are missed abortions that means babies abort at around uh, 6 weeks to 10 weeks. Uh, that is missed abortions that is also very common the thirdly they may be premature labor so many times it may happen that the baby has uh, implanted on the other normal wall of the uterus so it has grown it has not resulted into abortion but since the space in the uterus is less it leads to premature labor so they uh, deliver at around six months seven months eight months so only when a complication has developed this is the time that a septum uterus is usually diagnosed how it is diagnosed uh, diagnosis is most commonly by ultrasound that to 3d ultrasound which is a fantastic technology in a 3d ultrasound a good ultrasonologist can tell us that it is one uterus but there is a wall in between and they can also tell us whether it is a complete septum or it's a partial septum partial septum is when the uh, septum is just in the upper part of the uterine cavity complete septum is when the septum is dividing the whole uterus you know even even the mouth of the uterus up to the cervix that is complete septum so a 3d ultrasound can really give us a very good idea many a times it is diagnosed uh, when we are testing an infertility patient for her tubes by doing hsg hysterosalpingography so we put in dye inside the uterus and then when the picture comes out it comes out in two like two cavities that's how you diagnose on HSG and to confirm that whether we are really uh, seeing a septum uterus we need to do an MRI sometimes we need to do an MRI and MRI can give us fantastic images about the whole shape of the uterus one very important thing here is it's very important to differentiate septum uterus from biconvate uterus septum uterus is uterus from above is one when we see the uterus from above it will look like one uterus but there's a wall okay in biconvate uterus there are two uterine cavities uh, from below the uterus is joined but from above there are two uteruses so on hsg both septum and biconvate uterus will look like same right so mri and 3d ultrasound can differentiate whether these are two uteruses that is biconvate or whether it is septum uterus why it is really important to differentiate between the two 
it's extremely important because treatment for both is very very different they look very similar but treatment is entirely different for biconvey usually there is no surgery which is needed for septum surgery is the answer now coming to the treatment how do you treat septum so it's very easy septum is easily treated by surgery and the surgery is known as hysteroscopic septum resection by hysteroscopy we mean that we put in a telescope inside the uterus see the uterus from inside just by a small telescope and there are fine scissors and with that scissor we can cut the septum very easily it's an easy easy surgery and in which you know there's no cut for you there's no cut there's no uh, problems and you are admitted just daycare or maybe just one day in the hospital so i hope uh, this video must have answered some of your questions if you have been diagnosed with septum uterus um, if you have further questions you can write down below in the comment section and we would be very happy to answer those questions in fact on our channel on every tuesday at around 1 pm we have a live session this time the topic of the live session is related to the uterine abnormalities itself so if you have some questions regarding to any of the uterine abnormalities like septum biconvey unicornid uterus you can type your questions and send it to them send it to us and uh, we would definitely try to answer those in our live session thank you mm -hmm.